parang inakyat na po namin yung understanding ng mga participant of Jesus being just a teacher to a friend. Now, magkakaroon po ng konting problema. Kung ba kung friend po ng bawat katikista si Jesus Christ, bakit may mga bakit nagkakaroon bakit parang nagiging masyadong malabo yung tingin natin kay Jesus Christ kaya minsan nahihirapan tayo sa ating ministry and we came up with some theories na baka uh, it is because of some concerns uh, personal problems, family problems tension between among catechists tension between the director and the catechist and then dahil do po doon parang masyado nang napapala yung loob natin, iniisip na po ng mga katikisa na parang worthless na yung trabaho. And then, the, on, uh, on that point, we will try to to lead them to purification. Let us purify ourselves from that uh, concerns and to see that there is someone who is our friend, who is Jesus Christ. Po. Okay. Jesus Christ who gave himself first to us. Tapos may kinote si Father Robert kanina. Uh, nakuha po sa John. Uh, There's no greater love than to lay one's life to a friend. Uh, hindi lang po namin maalala yung exact verse ng, ng exact verse kung sa Bible po. And then, matatapos po yung... John 14. John 14 po. That is the gospel this coming Sunday. Thank, thank you very much, Father. Okay. So, yun po, yun yung, yun yung magiging purification and illumination stage po namin na we will purify our our friendship with Jesus Christ para ma-reestablish ulit yung friendship. And then, as a, concrete, uh, as a concrete activity for this, we will have dialogue among catechists para ma-establish din po ulit yung friendship among them. And then, there will be some kind of reconciliation among them which will be sacramentalized in the uh, sacrament of confession din po. So, that, the uh, sacrament of confession will end the day two afternoon session. And then, with you know, during the Uh, confession po pala the blessed sacrament will still be exposed and then day 3 na po mestagogy morning uh, okay. sacramental experience and integration again part of the Emmaus episode will be will be read starting from the breaking of the bread the disciples recognition that it was Jesus who was with them, and them going back to Jerusalem to give witness to the risen Christ. Okay po? So, ang magiging, ang magiging point po na, na, na sacrament po natin doon is the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. And then some points po na binigay na mga kasama ko, Eucharist is the experience of knowing and loving Jesus all the more. And Eucharist as the source of strength to do the mission yun nga po after having the sacrifice the meal with Jesus they went back to Jerusalem and then uh, Father Timex quoted Bruno Forte the Eucharist makes the church the church makes the Eucharist okay po ay uh, eh basta yun po yung quotation ko sa akin <laughs> and then during the mass po Uh, there will be some kind of ceremonial covenant writing. Uh, the catechist will will draft their own covenant with God, renewing their commitment in the service of catechesis, and then sending off, and then the reestablishment of their friendship with Jesus and with one another for a more fruitful catechetical ministry. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, group number four. Okay. Um, I was happy that uh, you, you put in the sacrament of reconciliation in the purification and the illumination. I was waiting for that. Uh, kasi uh, papasok, pasok na pasok yun eh. Kasi yung bang 
uh, while you emphasize the part where Jesus was treated by the by the two disciples as friends, no, it would have, it would good for you to look to look to the other side. Jesus is a friend, but how are we friends to him? And then we then the, then the catechist in the reflection would realize that ah, I have something to reckon with Jesus as a friend, and that comes that's where reconciliation comes in and then also I have something I might have something to reckon with my fellow catechists and so there's a reconciliation with among, among them ibang ganda na pasok doon iba yeah so Ms. Taguchi itong suggestion ko sa inyo live the Emmaus story the journey make the Eucharist a journey of the Emmaus journey to ginagawa ko to sa grade 6 ng um, retreat kasi I, that is our culminating activity the Eucharist no but I tell them but I let them uh, what to call this uh, leave the uh, MS story we start from one part usually it's a garden yan eh ng retreat house where we yes we, we, we hold the penitential right because that is the telling of our stories of sinfulness of our of our work of infidelity like that or our doubts our our frustrations dun sa with the so sa, sa garden yun now misa nagsasabi ko sunugin niyo yung kasalanan ni John at ano et cetera yung mga ganung ano and then we move now to another section of the retreat house kasi journey sila di ba they're walking together walking together and then and the, and then uh, to another place where we have the liturgy of the word the literature work where Jesus uh, culminating with Jesus explaining so the first reading the gospel general. and then the third is when they uh, they enter the house or do napapasok sa sa chapel or sa church where there's the altar the Eucharist is celebrated the breaking of the bread Ayan. and the fourth part is sending off sending off where you have already your covenant etc because an, an, an suggestion ko lang dito, make them experience the journey of the Emus in the very Eucharistic celebration they are uh, uh, celebrating. Yan. Okay? Talaga talagang yung mystagogical siya talaga. No? Kasi you, you lead them to reflect on the sacramental celebration in relation to their own life as, as well as you are reenacting the whole experience okay but for your final ano. okay let's move on to group, group number three Also retreat, but uh, yes, retreat. Yes. Well, there are. Uh, let me tell you a story for. Itong Eucharist, itong uh, Eucharistic celebration that we that we uh, enact in journey. The first time we had this. Uh, was uh, in Bangkok, in Thailand, Wahin, the first FAB, the first Asian Youth Des, uh, Asian Youth Day, organized by the FABC, and we used the word uh, the gospel, uh, the Emmaus, uh, as the celeb, uh, what do you call this for the mass, no? and you know, it was a beautiful experience. We started. There were five or six countries representing. The, the whole thing and then there were their own bishops and in fact there was a time that was a day that the Mongolian church brought uh, came in uh, sent their delegation and then they started in a big hall na we were the first part is uh, yung the reading of the word of God 
Tapos yung story nila, okay. Once the gospel is read, there's the homily. So we reenacted now Jesus explaining the the scriptures, no? This we did it by language group. So the the, the Japanese went with the Japanese bishop, the Filipino with the Filipino bishop, the the Chinese with the Chinese bishop, the Thai with the Thai. So every country has its own bishop. They went with the bishop where the bishop did the homily in their own language. Different, different. No? We just told the bishops, please bishops, only 15 minutes and no more. <laughs> At the end of 15 minutes, everybody, every group should already move towards the beach. Oh, wow. we, we ended the Eucharist in the seaside. And it was sunset. And uh, it was a beautiful experience where uh, the, the young people were gathered around the table they were standing on the sand on the, on the beach and there was a sunset and they were and uh, then at the end they were sent off uh, they were sending off that was the that experience inspired me also to to develop a, this uh, this kind of this uh, uh, you, uh, way of uh, celebrating the eucharist the emerus way so this was the yun ang uh, pinanggalingan nun. okay okay sige na Good afternoon po. May change of command daw sa military ngayong hapon. <laughs> May change of command daw. Uh, this is a ano, uh, proposed module for a uh, retreat module for the catechist. The title is Go and Make Disciples of All Nations. That is from Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. The outcome to deepen the spirituality of the catechist, their relationship to God and to others. Others would specifically mean their ano, uh, ang kanilang mga mag ang kanilang ano, susante, uh, the recipient of the catechesis. So stage one, pre catechumenate that is all about uh, self discovery. The activity will be the participants, which is the catechist, will choose an object that best best describes them. So they can move out outside the session hall. And the catechist will go back to the session hall after they found an object and then they will do a diet sharing with the following guide questions. Why did you choose that object to represent yourself? What significant experience of God that best describes your chosen object? And after the diet sharing, there will be a big group sharing. So those who are willing and those who are inspired to share. Uh, after the big group sharing, there will be a processing to be done by the facilitator. Uh, this is the meat of the processing or the input of the facilitator. Who you are is God's gift to you. What will you become is your gift to God and to others. After that, the stage two, the catechumenate. On the catechumenate stage, this is captured by the Christian message. It's from Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 20. Who do people say that I am? So there is an activity. The title is Gospel Creative Presentation. The catechist will be divided into two, in two groups following the differentiated paradigm. They will read and reflect the given Bible passage and prepare a creative presentation. So each group do have a specific creative presentation. For example, group one, they will make a song out of the gospel passage, dance, poem, drama, and a pantomime. After that, there will be a small group sharing. There will be a guide question. What have you discovered after the activity? How do you feel about the activity? What does the gospel message tell you as a catechist? And who is Jesus to you as a catechist? who is Jesus to you as a catechist after their reflection on the presentation, on the creative presentation. So again, the facilitator will process the activity through an input. Upon knowing yourself and the qualities of Jesus, what specific quality that you can enhance so that you become an effective catechist. Sometimes we thought that we know already ourselves but only to realize that there is someone who is Jesus, who knows us best, and who also leads us also to know ourselves better. Next. 
mayroong salita niya. May change of command again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And now, stage 3, purification and illumination. This is self-examination in the light of Christ. So there are activities. This is, um, gagawin namin to during the the prayer, holy hour, <laughs> vespers, holy hour, then gospel reading during or within the holy hour, and confession within the holy hour. Point of reflection. In spite of our sinfulness, God continues to love and be merciful to us. Even we are sinners, God continues to embrace us and welcome us in order for us to give Jesus also to others. Uh, parang ano po, parang purification, kailangan natin, kailangan nilang malinisan para malinis silang tanggapin si Kristo sa kanilang buhay. And by receiving Christ, they can also share Christ to other people. Mahal ka ng Diyos, maging sino ka man. Yan. And the Mistagogy, Eucharistic celebration during the Mass, sacramental celebration and entry to the community activities. Before the Mass starts, the participants will write a pledge of commitment to be offered after the homily during the offertory. And this is silent reflection. Renewal of commitment of the catechist will be given after after the post-communion prayer. Ito po yung ano, ito po yung babasahin nilang commitment after the post sabay-sabay sila. Post-communion prayer together with a symbolic token that reminds them of their vocation as a catechist. Meron po kaming ibibigay na token na hindi lang, it reminds them na hindi lang mag end yung, yung retreat or yung vocation nila after the retreat. It is a reminder for them that this vocation is continuing mission. Yun. Yung token na yun. Kung makikita na lang yung token na yun, yun, may continuing mission. And su suggested gospel text for the Mass, John 1, 43 to 50. This is the story of Nathaniel. Kung, kung kailan uh, sinabi ni Jesus Christ na I know you, di ba? Kilala kita. Before I called Yun. And gospel reflection, God knows us through and through like the way He identifies the person of Nathaniel. He, if He calls us, He also qualifies us to respond to the mission He has entrusted to us, just like Bartholomew, who often associated with Nathaniel. Oh, this is the reflection about the gospel. And the challenge, the offering of the pledge of commitment during during the offertory symbolizes their offering of themselves in the Mass. The primary offering is Jesus. Diba? You offer natin si Jesus during the Mass. Under the appearance of bread and wine, the catechist, through the symbolic pledge of commitment, in union with the offering of Christ becomes the secondary offering. And receiving the Lord in Holy Communion opens the catechist to the transforming action of the Lord in such a way that He is somewhat transubstantiated to become like Christ who is taken, broken, and shared. As a catechist, they must do the same as they are sent in the final blessing of the Mass. Go for it and I. Yung ano yung. Yun po. And our schedules. 
Siyempre, para kompleto yung retreat. Day 1, 2 o'clock p.m. arrival. 3 o'clock to 3.15 orientation. 3.30 to... 3.15 to 3.30 is snacks. 3.30 to 5.30 free time. Siyempre, kailangan ng free time yan. 5.30 to 6 o'clock preparation for the mass. 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock Eucharistic celebration followed by the dinner and 8 o'clock lights off. Yan, yan yung day one. Day two, 6 o'clock rising, 6.30 mass, 7.30 breakfast, 8.30 to 10.30 first session. Yung, isa, yung first, yung pre And then ay, break, 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock continuation of the first session. 12 o'clock to 1.30 lunch and siesta. 1.30 to 3 o'clock session 2, yung stage 2. And then 3 o'clock to 3.30 break, 3.30 to 5.30 continuation of the second session. 5 o'clock to 6, 6 o'clock preparation for the Vespers. And 6 o'clock to 6.30 Vespers, 6 o'clock, 6.30 to 7.30, dinner, 7.30 onwards, session 3, which is the Confession, Holy Hour, and Gospel Reading. And day 3, free rising. Oh, tingnan mo, may free rising pa. <laughs> <laughs> 7 o'clock rising pala, rising. 7.30 breakfast, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, free time, that is the time when uh, they write their uh, commitment letter na i-offer nila during the offertory. And at 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock or 10.30, Holy Mass sending off and yung commitment na babasahin nila and giving token to them. And after that, 10.30 or 11 o'clock, home sweet home. Yeah. Yung registration fee po, one... 1,500 po kasi. Thank you for the complete presentation of the retreat program. Uh, all right. Uh, siguro, just like to emphasize, Ms. Takuji, please uh, uh, put in there the reflection of the catechist in relation to the sacramental experience or celebration. Huh? But uh, just for the sake of uh, uh, the other groups, this kind of the, it's better to present your program this way. No? Mayroon na talagang summary ng whatever processing, your talk, and then the questions that, uh, that will be used in the different stages. Okay? Para talagang kompleto siya. Huh? So thank you for that uh, presentation. And also they, they also showed us a participative presentation. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's move to group number two. This, this is a catechetical course, no? Uh, the virtues of Jesus. Thank you. 
Okay, so tandem kami ngayon, the other side. Okay, so uh, our course once again, uh, the outcome of our course is at the end of the program, the catechist will be able to understand, value, and imbibe the virtues of Christ so that in the long run, they will be able to serve the parish and become authentic witnesses of Christ. Now, so uh, this is our hope to um, in have the catechist internalize the, the virtues of Christ. So, in the pre, in the pre, pre we have the first activity that Johari Window, last mentioned by the other group, no? to discover and list down the good qualities of fe our fellow catechists, the guide questions, what I know and what others know, what I know and what others do not know, what I do not know and what others know, and then what I do not know and what others do not know. So, talagang an activity that hopes to bring out our knowledge of ourselves and the, the knowledge of others uh, about our good qualities and our virtues. Of course, the, the Bible passage that will guide us is in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. You know? Whatever is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, of good repute, if ever there is any excellence and if anything is worthy of praise, dwell in these things. So we focus on the positive, the good qualities of a catechist, uh, their experiences, their knowledge in this pre-catechumenate, since this stage is more on the catechist. Yeah. So second, in the catechumenate, we go immediately to the reading of a Bible text, Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 to 11. This is a, the, the virtue of Christ, no? Uh, um, I forget. Um, um, for, even though God, even though he was in the form of God, Jesus de did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at, etc. So it shows here the the love, the humility, the sacrifice of Christ. And then other possible venues is the video cases or short films or biblical films, uh, prayers wrapped in songs or song analysis. All of these um, venues hope to bring out, uh, to help the catechists identify among these venues what are the virtues of Christ. No? So we give them the, the, the leeway to, to, to reflect and to discern what are the virtues of Christ in, in this Bible passage, in this short film, in this biblical story, or in this song, etc. No? So we have expected response uh, of the seven traditional Christian virtues or other virtues, human virtues that Jesus possesses. So mapapansin ninyo, wala kaming uh, time frame. No? Because our original idea is that this will last for one year. And uh, in one year, siguro, one, they meet only once a month and perhaps three hours each. And we decided that we cannot uh, immediately decide what, what virtue to, to discuss first. Whatever comes out, we hope to, to just um, share and discern and ex explain within ourselves uh, about that virtue. So hopefully all of these virtues will be uh, reflected and explained. Yeah. Yeah. In the purification stage, uh, our activity is Biblical characterization or identification. No? Um, an example is the parable of the prodigal son. Which character do you identify with? Or an activity is they will read uh, a dialogue or script and they will choose which which character they are. Maganda nga yung idea rin ng washing of the feet. What, what are these activities for? So that these the catechists will be able to identify the virtues of Christ and experience it you know, within a, a, a drama or within, within um, the, in the context of the story. You know. The activity will help the participants to realize of their need to be more like Christ. Again, First uh, John chapter 2, verse 3 and 5. And the last... 
is mystagogy. Okay, so again, there are many sacraments, and we hope that within the 12 months, all the sacraments will be discussed or said or somewhat celebrated no? celebrate and participate in the sacraments valuing the virtues of Christ we hope that the participants will own the virtues of Christ one becomes configured to Christ as an Imago Dei Vestigia Dei and Altar Christus and then hopefully to live out the sacraments in their daily life and in one's relationships so to uh, group number two. I suggest that if this is a, a year-long program, you try to follow the, the format of uh, the course on prayer, that you do the four stages in one meeting, or one, one virtue or three virtues, tapos palalim, palalim, palalim. So you can go over the most important virtues. No? Instead of one, Two, three, in the four stages in one, in a, for example, every in a month, month or every month or three months, can on quarter. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Group number one. and the last group, please. Okay. Yeah, may HDMI na siya. Yes, po, kinakabahan ako. <laughs> Alright, so, ito na po yung, sabi ni Father, yung full explanation. So, again, we, we gave the title that loving feeling. Okay, so, a proposed module of formation for catechists. The, the framework that we used is Revelations chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. Okay, so ito po yung present ko kanina, namin kanina. We kept in mind our outcome, no, the PBC, a catechist who is passionate, uh, has a deep sense of volunteerism, and has uh, connectivity to God and neighbor. Now, bakit that loving feeling? Okay, so, para medyo mabreak naman ng konti, mabilis na mabilis lang, magbidjoke muna po tayo. Okay? Ayan, ito yun eh. Tatakayo ah. Uh, excuse me, ano? Yes, uh, Father. The guard is sending us away. Ay, okay. Sige po. So, ito po yun, no? So, yes, Let, Father. No, no. Ikaw mag madali. Uh, we'll pick this up on Saturday. Ah, okay. Or, or on Monday. Ah, alright. Say, say on Saturday, I'll, have, I'll still be with you on the OBE. And uh, we'll have the speaker in the morning and then a group activity in the Sige afternoon. Po. But on Monday, I will wrap up everything with the liturgical catechesis. Before we go there, before we start, you present your... Uh, ah, okay. okay? Sorry for the, for the inconvenience, ha? Huh? Thank you, Pero, you na, po. Yung aircon mo, ma-ano na eh. Okay? Sige. Well, but, uh, but in the meantime, congratulations, though, I think, to all of you for your for eighth presentation. Thank you for what class? Please be reminded that your attendance is a mask. So, sabi po ni Dr. Rivera, kapag meron po kayong kulang ngayong, uh, ngayong batch na to, so you will be taking it up after two years. Ganun po. Okay, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So, maliwanag na po tayo doon, ha? So, you have to decide kung gusto niyo pong mag-absent, pero... It's the consequence of being an absent student. Okay, po? Okay, let us all stand. We pray in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We all say glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. And Goodbye. See you tomorrow.